Hi guys, it's Khan here and in this video I'm gonna show you how I fix my computer with no display or in the black screen. So I already tried removing the CMOS battery, resetting the BIOS and removing the RAM many times and I thought my motherboard is dead. So as you can see the QLED is stuck on the red light. It is in the DRAM. So I was in panic because I was thinking of buying new motherboard but of course I keep searching and trying and I found out that my BIOS was just corrupted so I needed to update it so now I go to the website and download the BIOS file to update my BIOS so if you are not familiar with the website of your manufacturer you can search it on Google in my case I'll be using I'm using ASUS so just go to the website of course type the name of your motherboard and go to the support there's a support button tab just click in the support once you're in the support go to driver and utility And after that, go to BIOS and firmware. And download the latest version of the BIOS. So now we downloaded the file. We will be opening the folder and transfer it to the desktop. And after it, we will extract the files inside this after extracting all the file uh, we'll make a new folder to transfer those files it's actually just two files the other one is for your BIOS update and the other one is for the BIOS renamer and after that click this BIOS renamer to rename that file and press any key to continue After pressing the K, as you can see the files is changed. Now you can transfer it in your flash drive. Make sure your flash drive is empty and only transfer the BIOS file. In my case, I encounter a problem which my BIOS flashback won't recognize my USB drive. This is due to my flash drive needs to be converted to MBR and needs to be deep cleaned. So I will make another video about it since not all flash drive will have the same problem. But if in case you encounter the same problem, you can check the video in the description. I will just be sharing it how to convert your flash drive to MBR and how to deep clean your flash drive. I already plugged in the flash drive in my motherboard in the BIOS slot. Now I will press this button which is the BIOS flashback for 5 to 10 seconds. It should be blinking like this. If the blinking is on solid green, it means it encounters problem or did not recognize your flash drive. This process may take 10 to 15 minutes and the blinking may go differently. It may blink faster and actually I also recommend when doing this BIOS update, you should remove your processor and RAM to avoid or to prevent problem to those parts. As you can see, the Blinking is more faster compared when we start. It means that we're almost done. Once the blinking will stop, it means that we successfully updated our BIOS. In my case, I wait for 1 to 2 minutes before I will remove the flash drive to ensure that the BIOS is properly updated now I will be removing the flash drive 
since we already wait for a minute and hoping that it is successfully updated and now we will be installing the processor and the RAM we will be installing one RAM and the processor we will not put the thermal paste and tighten the CPU fan since this is just for testing now we will replug the power supply and put the CPU fan on the top second don't tighten it now we will try to open the CPU and as you can see the light is blinking it means it's reading and it is on green it means we successfully dated our BIOS now I'll be showing you the monitor as you can see the light is green it means it's booting up and in the monitor we have now a display we successfully made it so that's all for today and I hope that you learned something in this video or this video helps you especially when you encounter the same problem as me and if you are new in this channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell below to see more videos like this see you in my next video goodbye and god bless